Once upon a time, an Italian woodcarver named Geppetto lived by himself with his pet kitten Figaro and goldfish Cleo. Lesson 1 one look around his workshop and you can clearly tell that his wood creations are a work of love of someone who takes pride in their work. Geppetto has grown lonely living with only his pets and creates a puppet with a little wooden head named Pinocchio and pretends that the wooden boy is his son. Before going to bed, Geppetto prays a seemingly silly prayer. He prays that his wooden boy would become a real boy. Then Figaro, Cleo, and Geppetto all settle in for the night. Someone hears Geppetto's prayer and a blue fairy comes to visit Pinocchio to give him life. After he wakes up, she tells him that he is only a wooden boy, but can become a real boy if he proves himself to be brave, truthful, and unselfish. Jiminy Cricket then comes over and talks his way into becoming Pinocchio's conscience. Lesson 2 Life is a test, revealing what kind of people we are. Will we be selfish, deceitful, and cowardly? Or will we prove ourselves to be brave, truthful, and unselfish? After the Blue Fairy leaves, Jiminy Cricket explains how to let your conscience be your guide. Lesson 3 A conscience is something that helps you know what is right and what is wrong. When Pinocchio needs Jiminy, he can give a little whistle, and Jiminy will come and help. While singing with Jiminy, Pinocchio accidentally wakes up the whole household. When Geppetto wakes up, he finds that Pinocchio has come alive. Geppetto is so overjoyed, he can't help but celebrate with the whole household. The next day, Geppetto makes sure that Pinocchio goes to school so that he can learn and get an education just like any other boy. He even gives him an apple for his teacher. Pinocchio never makes it to school, however, as he is intercepted by scheming Honest John, who turns out to be one of the worst liars you can meet. Honest John and his sidekick Gideon the Cat stop Pinocchio and try to convince him that there are better things he can do than go to school. They convince Pinocchio that being an actor is better than getting an education. Lesson 4 Pinocchio is a classic example of someone who is naive, someone who lacks experience, training, and good judgment. He's also gullible. He is easily deceived and will believe anything. It would also be helpful if Pinocchio would listen to his conscience. Oh, here comes his conscience. Looks like he woke up late. Jiminy Cricket tries to warn Pinocchio that what Honest John is trying to get him to do is not good. Pinocchio agrees wholeheartedly to say goodbye to Honest John and just go to school. But when Pinocchio starts talking with Honest John, he is convinced again that the actor's life is for him and tells his conscience goodbye. At first he wants to go tell Geppetto, but Jiminy Cricket is not a snitch and follows after Pinocchio to try to sort it out by himself. Pinocchio and Stromboli the Puppet Master have a new show to put on and Pinocchio is the main act with his song, I've Got No Strings. Jiminy Cricket watches in disapproval and is about ready to give up on Pinocchio. Lesson 5 A conscience is helpful to know right from wrong, but if you don't listen to your conscience, eventually your conscience can become silent since you didn't let your conscience be your guide. Pinocchio, meanwhile, is a hit, and Stromboli sees what success and fortune this wooden boy with no strings will bring him. Jiminy doesn't think Pinocchio needs him anymore and begins to leave. Meanwhile, Geppetto is very worried about Pinocchio and heads out to go looking for him. Pinocchio celebrates the success of the show with Stromboli, but when Pinocchio tries to leave to go home, Stromboli takes Pinocchio and locks him up. Stromboli, as it turns out, is a cruel and mean man. Lesson 6 Those that pursue fame, riches, and popularity become a slave to those they want to please. In the end, they find themselves in a prison of misery and despair. Jiminy Cricket decides he can at least go and say goodbye to Pinocchio. But when he finds him locked up in a cage, he realizes that he needs help. Jiminy Cricket tries to undo the lock, but he is unsuccessful. Lesson 7 Our own failings and mistakes make it so that even our greatest human efforts can't save us. We are in desperate need of divine intervention. In their desperation, 
Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket cry together. In their time of greatest need, the Blue Fairy comes. Pinocchio and Jiminy, feeling ashamed of their failings, try to hide themselves from the brilliant glory of the fairy. She asks Pinocchio why he didn't go to school. Pinocchio tells a number of lies to hide his own guilt in the true story. But with each lie, his nose grows longer. When he sees his own lies as plain as the nose on his face, he asks for forgiveness and a second chance. The Blue Fairy gives him one last chance and saves Pinocchio. Lesson 8 The Blue Fairy warns Pinocchio, a boy that won't be good might just as well be made of wood. Meanwhile, Honest John brags about how he took advantage of Pinocchio. The coachman's proposition is that he rounds up boys for Pleasure Island to make even more money. Pinocchio and Jiminy head off to set things right again to go to school as he should. But once again, he doesn't make it very far before Honest John catches him and tells him he is allergic and sick and needs a vacation. And so Honest John leads Pinocchio astray to Pleasure Island. Lesson 9 How easy it is for us after committing to do right to find ourselves headed in the wrong direction again. Pinocchio, soon with a bad crowd of boys, rounded up by the coachman headed for Pleasure Island. Lesson 10 Making friends with bad influences will only lead you into greater sin. At first, Pleasure Island looks fun and enticing, but little do the boys know that the true and sinister purpose of Pleasure Island is a nightmare. The boys are encouraged to make donkeys of themselves by doing whatever they please on the island. Pinocchio has made friends with Lampwick, another bad influence who pushes Pinocchio to do many naughty things. Lesson 11 If you follow the crowd just to fit in, you'll find yourself doing many things at great cost to yourself. Jiminy Cricket finally finds Pinocchio and as his conscience tries to convince Pinocchio that what he is doing is wrong. Lampwick forces Jiminy to give up on Pinocchio and the Cricket leaves Pinocchio to his own poor choices. Again, another reminder of Lesson 5. If you don't listen to your conscience, eventually your conscience will give up on you and you will no longer be able to hear it. Soon, they discover the true and sinister purpose of Pleasure Island. When the boys act like donkeys long enough, they turn into actual donkeys. The evil coachman then sells the donkey boys to be slaves in salt mines or circuses. Soon Pinocchio and Lampwick transform into donkeys themselves. Lesson 12 Consequences for your actions will eventually catch up to you. Jiminy Cricket comes back and saves Pinocchio and helps him escape from the island. They eventually make it back to Geppetto's house, but find no one at home. A note from the Blue Fairy tells Pinocchio and Jiminy that when Geppetto was out looking for Pinocchio, he got swallowed by Monstro the Whale. Showing bravery and a desire to make up for all the bad things he has done, Pinocchio decides to set out for the sea to look for Geppetto. With a cry of, Look out below! Jiminy and Pinocchio jump into the sea and begin their search for Monstro the Whale. With every sea creature they ask for help in looking for Monstro, it becomes apparent how terrified everyone is of the whale. That doesn't stop Pinocchio though. He wants to find his father. Lesson 13 Being brave means moving forward even when you're afraid. Pinocchio finally finds Monstro the whale and proves he can be brave. When Monstro swallows a whole school of fish, he also swallows Pinocchio, allowing him to reunite with Geppetto. When Geppetto sees Pinocchio's donkey ears, Pinocchio resists the urge to tell a lie and proves that he can be truthful. Lesson 14 It takes courage to tell the truth when you want to tell a lie. Geppetto and Pinocchio then try to find a way to escape from Monstro. Pinocchio has the brilliant idea to make a fire so that the smoke will cause the whale to sneeze and perhaps give them an opportunity to escape. When they get a fire started, Monstro starts to become agitated, and they prepare for their journey on Geppetto's raft. With a massive sneeze from the whale, they escape. But Monstro isn't happy and chases after them. When the raft is destroyed, 
Geppetto tells Pinocchio to save himself and to just leave him behind. But Pinocchio now proves that he can be unselfish and fights against the waves to save Geppetto from Monstro. In the process of saving the woodcarver, Pinocchio gives up his own life. Lesson 15 The greatest act of love is to sacrifice oneself for others. As all of Geppetto's house mourns Pinocchio, the Blue Fairy comes and tells him that he has proven himself to be brave, truthful, and unselfish, and she allows him to become a real boy. Geppetto and the whole household celebrate not only that Pinocchio is alive, but also that he is now a real boy. A dream come true.